Okay, so we're just gonna start off with some boat preparation before we go. So I'm just gonna climb up onto the boat. The water's quite deep here, so I'm gonna use a trapeze line. And while I've got the trapeze line in my hand, I'm just gonna check the length on the trapeze. And what I want is just a little bit more than a hand's width between the J and H and the sidebar, and I know that's gonna be good for me. Perhaps if you're less experienced trapezing on the helm, you could have it a little bit higher up and that's gonna make it a bit easier because you won't feel so close to the water. Now I'm gonna attach the main sheet. Okay, and then because we're on a mooring, I'm going to put the rudders down now. That's just going to save me a job for later. And I'll bring the tiller extension round to the correct side for departure. OK, I'm not going to put the downhaul on just yet. I'm going to get away from the beach first and then I'll put the downhaul on. So, yes, that's right. It's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Today we're going out sailing solo on the 16 and we're gonna look at everything that we're doing to make the boat as manageable as possible. So we're gonna sail upwind using the trapeze, then we're gonna sail downwind, and then we're gonna finish off on a reach where we can go for a little bit of speed. Okay, so I'm gonna use the old swimming pool technique to get onto the boat. Okay, and I'm not sheeting in till the boat starts moving forwards. I could even sheet the jib in a little bit, which is going to help to get us going. So let's do that. So these conditions really look quite champagne. Probably at the moment about 15 knots in the gusts, which for single-handed Hobie 16, that is perfect. Um, so even in that much wind, I always favour taking the jib traveller all the way to the outside just so that the jib is less likely to get me into trouble. Okay, and then I'm just going to head up into the wind and I'm going to put the downhaul on. And even in this wind, single handed, we can put the downhaul on pretty much full. because it is a powerful boat to be sailing solo. All right. And then the reason we didn't put the downhaul on until now is just because putting the downhaul on is like basically pressing the on button on the boat. It puts the shape into the sail, which means if we do just want to take it easy and there's a strong wind, the mainsail could start flogging quite violently. Okay, so at the moment, just while I give this explanation, I've got the traveller most of the way out, main sheet quite loose, jib quite loose, and with the wind coming from pretty much the beam side on, we're just uh, coasting along quite happily and it all feels quite relaxed. Okay, so I'm going to bring, bring the jib in a bit. Let's turn up the heat a little bit. I'm bringing the traveller in. Just going to go a little bit further in than the toe strap, just to see how much power that gives us. So we're setting the traveller kind of like gears. If we want more power, generally, we can bring the traveller in more. Or if we've got too much power, generally, we'll let the traveller out more. So for single-handed sailing in trapezing conditions, around the toe strap, for my weight, which is about 90 kilos, or what's that, about 200 pounds, just inside the toe strap is about right for most things. And then with the traveller in this position, we can now just play the main sheet for the constant adjustment of power. We'll pull it in if we want a bit more. And then of course, we'll let it out 
if we want a bit less. Okay, so I'm bring the jib in tight and because we're going to go onto the trapeze, I'm going to put the jib sheet quite close to the edge of the boat so that I'll be able to get hold of it while I'm on the trapeze. Okay, I'm now going to take my trapeze and hook on and then for moving out onto the trapeze solo especially, I'm just going to put my front foot under the toe strap on the trampoline just as security. So if it almost never happens, but if I did come unhooked while I was moving out, I'd still be able to keep contact with the boat and not be a man overboard. All right, so there's a bit more wind coming. Just going to shuffle back till my weight's on the trapeze. And I'm just going to steer the boat in this position. Most of my weight on the trapeze. Wind is coming. So going out like this, I'm going to go back foot first, bit of a shift. And there we are. If you haven't done much trapezing on the helm, check out one of my many trapezing videos where it's all going to be explained in much more detail. Okay, and we're off. And we're going rather nicely. Bit of a gust coming, so I'll just be ready to sheet out. There we go. So as soon as I'm out on the trapeze, I'm just making sure I've got the ability to let the mainsail out. So if your mainsail is cleating every time you sheet in, just get used to flicking it out of the cleat so that you can lose the power. And you really have a lot of control. It's probably now about 17, 18 knots of wind, nice sailing conditions. And we're just going to loosen the main sheet if we have too much power. The other time we're going to loosen the main sheet is if we want to sail more downwind. So if we're going to bear away, we're going to loosen the main sheet. Because if we don't, we'll dig the bow in. Okay, it's just got a bit gusty there. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to step onto the hull at the back. This makes it a bit easier. And then just slide onto the trampoline, just sheeting out a little bit as I come in. And there's a quite well positioned buoy up ahead, which we'll use as a rounding mark to turn from this first leg onto a downwind leg. Okay, wind is coming back, so I'm just gonna lower myself down. Bit shifty at the moment, stepping out onto the sidebar and I'm going to bring the jib in a bit tighter, main a bit tighter, because now we're going to sail pretty hard upwind. So I've come forwards a little bit. And what I'm finding is now I'm further forwards, the main sheet is actually cleating more readily. OK, there's a big gust just before this buoy. So I could either stay out on the trapeze, which is more of a high stakes move, or come in. So I think I'm going to come in, hand on the handle. There is a bit of a gust coming as I come in. But I've got the main sheet out of the cleat, so I can uncleat as we come in. Yeah, quite a big gust there. Woohoo! Okay, so just that ability to let the main sheet off is absolutely solid gold. <coughs> So if in doubt at any time you think you're going to capsize, letting the main sheet out is probably going to save you. Okay, so I'm going to let the jib sheet out there a bit as well. Now, letting the main sheet out, I'm just letting it go through my fingers. So when I'm controlling both ropes, I've got the stick and the main sheet in the same hand. And then you can control the main sheet to a certain extent through the fingers like that. Very handy. Okay, now we're on the downwind point of sail. I'm gonna let the traveler out about, let's call it a quarter of the way between the toe strap and the end. That's a good starting point. And then we're steering the boat by watching 
the wind indicators on the bridle wires at the front. Now our backwards and forwards movements on the trampoline, the further forwards that we get, especially if the wind is lighter, is gonna improve our efficiency. But if the wind gets stronger, going more forwards is also going to increase the risk of sticking the nose in. So we're gonna stay back a little bit at the moment. So right now I'm about halfway between the shroud and the back of the trampoline. Okay, so we're gonna go for a jibe. And because we might get hit by a gust, we're gonna go for a sort of heavy wind jibing technique where I'm gonna bring the traveler in about level with the toe strap. This is just gonna help to get the boom to go across a bit sooner. Okay. And now, when we go for the jibe, we're going for it fairly bold and then straightening up as soon as the boom comes across. And now we're through to the other side. That's the side, that's the time to bring the jib across. So I'm gonna pull the jib traveler first. The battens are just hung up a little bit. The wind's gone a little bit soft. Um, so I just headed up a bit. That helped push the battens through on the jibe. All right, and then back into the same situation where we were before. Tapes going across the boat at 90 degrees. We can play the jib a little bit so the telltales are correct. Check out my video on using the telltales for more information on that. Okay, so a little bit more wind now. Let's see if we get a gust here. Yeah, so just bearing away a little bit in the gust. And what we're doing there is we're just bearing away enough to keep those telltales on 90 degrees. Okay, so we're gonna go out on the trapeze again as we head up towards the wind, bringing the traveler into the toe strap as our general setting bringing the jib in a little bit, keeping the jib sheet again by the side of the boat. We've got a bit more wind now, this is nice. So I'm just checking I'm hooked on as I go out. And now we're out on the trapeze, gonna pull the jib in fairly tight for the upwind. Main sheet in fairly tight for the upwind. And I'm gonna go far, quite far forwards up towards the shroud, because on the upwind, when you've got the jib in tight, and if the inside telltales are lifting, or the front of the jib is flapping a little bit, then you know that you really are sailing upwind. So when you're really sailing upwind like this, you can go a bit, you can pretty much go as far forwards as possible in the strong wind, because all of the force of the wind is trying to push the boat backwards. So we're just trying to counterbalance that. Okay, so we're gonna go for attack. So we could go for attack from the trapeze, but we won't. We'll go for the safer option, which is to come back onto the boat first. So as we come back onto the boat, just focusing on the steering, keeping it constant, transferring the hands as we come in. And then what I'm gonna do is just free off a bit of jib before the tack. And then when we're ready, checking the area that we're gonna tack into, main sheet in as tight as possible. We push the stick across, watching the jib. When the jib backs, we let the main sheet off and move across the boat. The jib's done a lot of the work there to get us through the wind. And then once we're on the new side, we can pull the jib over to the new side. And like we did before, we'll get the jib in really tight. This wind is absolutely fantastic for this sort of stuff. Okay, foot under the toe strap again for going out onto the trapeze. Nice good gust coming. <coughs> so I'm lowering myself down, ready for the gust. Then I'm gonna push out my back foot first. All right, and we're off. This is a very nice bit of wind for single-handed. 
16 sailing. Again, I'm just making sure that I've got the ability to uncleat the main sheet at all times. Good gust coming. Okay, maybe the next tack we'll go for from the trapeze just to see how that works out for us. Okay, nice good gust. We'll just go through this gust and then we'll get ready for this tack. So what I'm gonna do, main sheet is already in as tight as it will go. We're sailing close to the wind. We've got space. So here we go, standing up, jibs back so we can go under the boom. And of course, pulling the jib across when we've finished. So that went quite well. I've just got a jib sheet caught round my camera pole. Now in theory, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, jib sheet by the end of the boat, edge of the boat, sorry. We'll get hooked on. And then as advertised, we're gonna finish off with a glorious speed reach. All right, we're not gonna know how fast we went. GPS is playing up. If anybody would like to send me a GPS, I will happily receive one. Okay, so I didn't mention the one thing we have to look out for on the tack as the wind gets stronger is the backwards capsize. So we just need to get a bit further forwards as we get across the boat. Okay, so here we go. I'm in the position, foot right under the tiller extension, the tiller. Just playing the main sheet to keep her in the, sp the sweet spot. I can't fly the hull quite as much as I might do normally because of the camera mounting. Bit of a hole, but there is a bit of a gust up ahead, but there we go. So on the beam reach, so sailing half wind with the wind side on to the boat, we've got the jib in this wind in the perfect position. So the telltales are flying nicely. And then all of our power is controlled using the main sheet. I've got the traveler at the toe strap. If we get a gust, I'll let the truck main sheet out if the wind goes light I'll pull the main sheet in so let's see what happens as this gust hits gusts coming here it comes I'm sheeting in a bit just to get a bit of speed on nice next gust coming up and we're taking this all the way into the beach today so we can have a look at what we'll do when we come to stop. Oh yeah, there's some good pace there. Okay, flying the hole, trying to keep the cameras out of the water. And now I'm just working the main sheet to keep the hull at the right angle of heel. So the main sheet is going to help us with the angle, the sideways heel, and any front pitching. Of course, that's going to be helped by how far we get to the back of the boat as well. But um, by sheeting out the main, we'll stop the healing so much and we'll stop digging the nose in so much as well. Okay, so we're getting close. So it's a good time to get in off the trapeze. Going to let the jib off completely. So that's done. I'm also going to let the downhaul off completely. So that that's done. And I'm going to come round the back of the other boats because as we approach the shallow water next to the beach, we're just going to turn up into the wind to stop the boat. So here we go. And we're taking it in nice and shallow because it's so much easier to hold the boat in the shallow water. Now we've actually got a sandy bottom here. So if we do touch the bottom with the rudders, it's not such an issue. All right, so we've stopped. 
it's always a good idea to stop before you get off the boat. And then I'm just going straight to the front of the boat. And there we are, we've got hold of the boat. That was a great lap. Thanks very much for coming along. I hope that was both informative, entertaining and useful in some way. And uh, I'll be back soon with some more on Joyrider TV. Thank you very much.